Rarely can I take a walk through a drugstore without walking out with five, six different types of lip balm. I think lip balm is one of the things that makes my day just a little bit sweeter. So today, I want to show you how to make your own custom lip balm. Now to begin with, I have a little bit of hot water that's boiling here on my pot. And the base of the lip balm is beeswax. And this is about two tablespoons of beeswax that I'm just going to melt right here, just like you would if you were melting uh, chocolate. I have a friend who I think bonded with her husband initially about their obsession with lip balm. And did you know that lip balm actually started in Japan? It started with the lily blossom and they would take it and rub it all over their lips to make it soft. Now this is really the base of the lip balm, but to give it its fragrance, it's fun to get a few different types of essential oils and kind of always have them on hand. And you can either mix them up and mix a couple different smells and scents, or you can just take one. Like I'm probably just gonna use a little bit of jasmine to add into this particular batch. There we go, my beeswax is liquefied just the way I want it. So I'm gonna wanna turn down this heat just a little bit. And now I'm gonna take four teaspoons of castor oil and mix it right in there with my beeswax, there we go. And this is really gonna give the shine to the lip balm. And I'm gonna take two teaspoons of honey. There we go. And now right at the very end, I'm gonna add in just a hint of jasmine to give it a little bit of a great smell. This is where you can be kind of subjective with it. You can add as much scent or as little as you want. I just like it to have a little bit of a whiff of that good jasmine smell. Mmm, and now I just got a whole bunch of these. They were really inexpensive at my local craft store. And I'm just gonna take it and pour it right into the container. I'm gonna fill it about three quarters of the way up for each little disc of lip balm. And it'll take, oh, anywhere from four to six minutes for this lip balm to dry and become the consistency you want it to. Now, to decorate this, I got a bunch of colorful stickers at my local craft store, and I'm just gonna take that disc of color, place it right on the center of the balm, and I'm gonna cover up the top, the clear top. I think it's kind of fun to get your button jar, pick out some of your favorite buttons, Look at this, I found a chicken button. A chicken button, I'm gonna put that right on top of my white button. And this one I'm just gonna keep real simple. And I'm just gonna attach it with a little dab of hot glue. There, get my orange button right there. And there you go, I am all set to give a bundle of sweetness away to my friends.